Hey guys, Kuzmar here, back with another video in this video today. I'm going to be drawing Meliodas in assault mode. This illustration is actually a t-shirt designed for anime uproar. You guys can go check him out in the t-shirt uh, through the link in the description. I'll link up his channel in the description if you want to go check it out. Him and his brother run the channel and they do really cool kind of like anime analysis videos and stuff like that. So definitely go check them out. In any case, I had a lot of fun with this illustration. I tried to go a lot more manga inking um, with this one compared to um, some of my more recent works. I've been doing more of a painterly style. And um, when I'm doing a t-shirt design, I feel like uh, more line work and manga kind of line work works a little bit better than uh, painterly style for t-shirts at least. Um, I try to keep it uh, cleaner but rough at the same time. In the end, um, there's parts of it that seem a bit more painterly. But yeah, drawing uh, Meliodas in assault mode was uh, really fun and it's also kind of um, simple because there's so much kind of blackish purple going on. Of course I had to do some like color stuff and trying to balance the colors between what's on him and in the background but all in all, you know, he's not typically not wearing anything in this mode. It's just kind of like black legs, blackish purple legs, and then blackish purple stuff on his arms, and then blackish purple stuff coming off his back, and then, you know, like on his forehead, and it looks really cool. And uh, to be completely honest, I have not read all the manga, and I have only watched the first two seasons of the anime. I think that's all that's out right now. I'm, I'm not sure. I think there's only two seasons out. I remember um, uh, Netflix had messed up with uh, calling one of the seasons the wrong, the wrong season. I think they said season three or something when it was actually season two. And they messed up by putting like a portion of the first part of the season, counting it first part of the second season as the second season and putting the last part of that second season as the third season. I don't know, it was weird. But all in all, despite what your guys' preferences are and what some of you may say, <laughs> I'm a pretty big dub fan. Um, I still watch uh, subs, but uh, I do like dub anime a little bit more because I can relax a little bit more while watching it. That's just my, my opinion, but you know, some dubs are crap. But, you know, I don't want this video to start turning into a sub-dub war. I don't know. Tell me, guys. What do you prefer? Tell me in the comment section. What do you prefer? Sub or dub? Make it a war. No, okay. But, yeah, I try to get that uh, whooshy hair going. And, like I said, I try to get that manga-like technique um, inking going. And I try to always make it look as traditional as possible. And it's not always just the pen itself because the pen itself is a pretty standard uh inking pen on you know clip studio just a couple of different pressure settings changed to you know my liking but all in all it's more so how you kind of ink with it digitally because there's different um kind of curves when you have your uh, pen with stabilization if you do quick curves they don't do the curves quite the same as if you did them traditionally so it's kind of just like a uh, inking technique that you kind of got to get to make it look a little bit more traditional then again I mean there are some uh, special ink tools that probably make it look more traditional as well I don't know that's just how I how I try to do it because a lot of people ask me how do you make it look so traditional what kind of brush do you use but it's really just something I've kind of done throughout, you know, doing digital art, and it's just trial and error. And um, one of the things that started to make my work feel a little bit more traditional through the digital media was not trying to make everything look perfect, because you can make stuff look too perfect digitally, and it comes off by looking very digital. Because most of the time, even when you do like a perfect circle or perfect lines traditionally, there's certain things that tip it off as still being traditional, if that makes sense. So if you want your stuff to look a little bit more traditional when you're, you know, inking digitally, I'd say try not to make everything perfect. But at the same time, you know, if you're learning how to, you know, to have better structured lines, you want to try to make it as good as possible at the same time. So, bam, right there, a contradiction. No, I'm kidding. I just don't want you to be like, Well, Kuzumari told me that I should make my lines look like crap. 
no, anyways, um, you guys might have noticed that the letters all of a sudden turned into, you know, fully finished letters, and that's because I decided to leave the, um, letters out of this video and just focused on the drawing of Meliodas, because I didn't really think, you know, drawing of letters was something that's as cool to watch. Um, you know, I know there's some people out there that would probably be a little interested in it, but, um, it's just not as appealing, I thought. Um, but you'll see later on that, uh, we decided to, uh, change the letters and make them a little bit different font, slightly, and, uh, also change the color, and I, I, I actually kind of like both. Um, now when I look back at it, I do like this green, and it looks kind of cool. Um, but, uh, we changed it to more of a purplish red, um, I believe, and we'll all see it at the end, but, yeah, definitely shoot in the comment section, um, once it gets to the end and stuff, which lettering, uh, you kind of like the most, just to see, just, just for fun, to see who, who liked the green and who liked the finished version, as I, I personally like them both, and I think they both look cool. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going into, like, effects here in the background, trying to get that swooshiness of him, like, coming at you. Um, notice it's not touching the edges, because you can't really do that with a t-shirt. Uh, you can, but if you make things boxed off, uh, typically it looks kind of strange a lot of the time. So I'm trying not to touch the edges, if you guys are wondering why. Um, it's so centered in the middle like that, and not touching the edges, and I didn't just do, like, a flat background thing. But, yeah, that's why. I'm trying to make that glow in the background really glow so it kind of emphasizes on him, gives him kind of like a silhouette feel. Although it's not like a silhouette, but it's really separating him from the background. Because I had to make that uh, very, very established. Because his hair is a yellow too, which is going to conflict with that background as well. But. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to help support this channel, help support what I do on here, you guys can check me out on my Patreon, link in the description. The perks are, you know, like, manga tutorials, illustration tutorials for stuff like this, and, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to take this time to actually thank my current Patreons real quick. Ashley Elizabeth, Woody Olis, Heke Pelage, Sam Tinley, Wear My Crown, Daniel Helier, Osu, Poetical Gore, Noah Henderson, Maracuzio, JT, Satoshi, Kaneen Morel, Purston Smith, Alpha Dog Studios, JT, Malcolm X. You guys are the awesomest pest shinobis there are and help me be able to do what I do on this channel. In any case, I had a whole lot of fun with this illustration and I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, like as you see, Please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always guys, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.